But if we do not know how to release the buttons, the buttons control you. Now, how many of you are aware of and know what hypnosis is? How many of you seen the How many of you seen the hypnosis show? Like you know, the hypnotist will put everybody in trance and, and, and they'll 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 act and perform different things. And then one of them, he may say to one of them, said, now, when I say the color blue, and every time I say the color blue, you will quack like a duck. Right? And then he'll bring them out of trance, and they'll all go sit down. And then he'll say, you know, the other day I was looking at this girl who had blue eyes, and he goes, quack, 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 quack. <laughs> and he goes, why am I doing this? Right? And then later on, he's, you know, and then later on in part of the show, and he said, yeah, and this, this guy who had a blue car. Quack, 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 quack. Or maybe when you're driving down the road and a song will play on the radio and you begin to quack, 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 quack. Or maybe when you're sitting at the dinner table and there's something inside you says, you have to clean everything on that plate right now. You cannot throw that food away. Quack, quack, quack. And then when you interact with somebody else in your world at work, and then for some reason, you finding yourself quack, quack, quack. Why does it happen? Because inside of us, our unconscious, we have learned from our experiences. Do you know what I'm talking about? The problem is, most people do not know how to get rid of the buttons. You know, when you go to the jukebox and you hit K9, and all of a sudden, that song that you know that plays, and as it plays, you start to feel your feelings. Now, somebody else may say, well, I just hate that song. But it doesn't matter to you because you have your emotions and your feelings attached to the song. Now, the deal is, if you have no skills of changing how you feel everything outside you in the world will have power over you now I don't know if I don't know if you like that idea but if you have no skills you can't change it you'll have to suffer through it you're gonna have to tough it out and just like in the in the office that boss that walks in she barks her orders and there's ten of you in the room but you're the one who throws her pen down you're the one who walks over to the Coke machine and gets your Coke and your two candy bars. And you go downstairs and you go outside and you're drinking and eating and smoking, trying to escape the feelings you took downstairs with. Isn't that right? Whose problems are they? Yours. But in our culture, we have this many skills to releasing and truly letting go. And that's one of the things that I help people develop, learn skills to release and let it go. Do you realize that most of our problems are all created from within you? So that means when you look in the mirror while you're shaving, putting your makeup on, hopefully not at the same time, <laughs> the problem is looking right back at you and the solution because it's you. So what I want to do is, is, is give you skills. Now, how many of you realize that that makes sense, logically? All push buttons are yours, and all your problems are generated from within you. And while I'm at the restaurant with my wife at the time, I'm standing there at Quiznos, and I'm thinking, you know, Anna, I think I have a coupon for this meal. You mind going out to the car and get it? So she went out to the car, and at that time... I had painted a 1974 Dodge Charger. It was a, pan a baby blue at the time, and I stripped it out, painted it panther pink. I mean bright panther pink. It had a black wing on the back, a black vinyl roof, and a blacked-out bulge hood on the front. Black interior. The doors were about like this, and they weighed about 50, 100 pounds for a 5-foot year, year, girl, and, and 100 pounds. And she opened this door, and she broke her fingernail. As she walked in the room, I saw my father's look on her face. And right there at the counter, I changed it forever. I released it with a simple technique. It is so simple, it seems bizarre. 
It really does seem bizarre because, you know, I've had many people said, now, Robert, you know, I teach a tapping process. How many of you have not heard of what tapping is? Do not know what tapping is. But if we do not know how to release the buttons, the buttons control 